Hello, my name is Justin Thompson. I'm with Hyundai Construction Equipment, and we're out here at our demo days with our customers here. Uh, this is the new HX220 EPFC, uh, Electronic Positive Flow Control. It's a new way that we have to uh, control the hydraulics on the machine. Uh, how we do that is we have a different controller and we control the different pumps in a, a little bit different way and uh, we're able to get some more better controllability and uh, add some different functions to the machines. So we're here in the new HX220 EPFC controlled machine and I'm going to show you a couple things within the monitor that we have the avail availability to do. So within our monitor, this is our 8-inch uh, color touchscreen monitor and uh, what we have is in the middle we have an inclinometer which is, uh, allows us to show where our level setting is on our machine so when we're doing a picking operation that uh, we can meet the full capacity of our load chart but within the menu we have some different modes that we can set uh, under this section where we have work mode we have the ability to have a lifting mode now where that with this lifting mode and we're going to go ahead and enable this, but we have what's called fine swing, which is a more uh, precision swing operation. And we also have free swing, which allows us to uh, do picking applications where we would automatically center over top of the load uh, when we start to pick up. And then it would be less of an abrupt stop whenever we do swing and uh, prevent that pendulum action from occurring. But along in with lifting mode, we have our breaker, which is our single flow uh, settings where we can adjust our flow and relief pressures within the monitor. Within this section, we have the ability to set 10 single flow settings. And then we also have a crusher, which is our two-way settings. And within this section, we can set up 10 two-way settings. And also, we have the ability to go in and name these. So we can go in and we could actually input a name for this setting and save it with that flow and relief pressure as well. But not only that, with the work modes where we can set those, we also have added combination speed setting. And what combination speed setting allows us to do is we're able to adjust our load sensitivity, trucking balance, boom arm balance, and arm speed. So load sensitivity, if we have an operator, uh, where that they're going to set the machine, we can set the sensitivity there to the medium. If the customer says, you know, the machine's not as sensitive as they would like, we can up the sensitivity one level at a time. We also have the ability to change our trucking balance. And typically most companies are going to, or most machines are going to set it up with swing or priority or boom priority. Uh, we've added where the, we can adjust the flow between the two and what the priority is going to be between either swing or boom. Um, previously it was either you had boom priority or you had swing priority and now we can more fine tune this operation for the customer's needs. Also we have boom arm balance and boom arm balance is our, in relation to the boom and the arm and how those would work together. So if you're doing some grading applications with an excavator, which is very common in some areas, uh, where we need faster boom or faster arm speed than boom speed, we can adjust and have all of our preference going towards the as much preference as possible going towards the arm, but still have boom function, or we can have more boom up speed than we do arm speed. But starting right there in the middle is a good operation for most operators. Along with that. We have arm speed, which this is a, and which can be enabled or disabled. And what this, what this is enabled is actually also referred to as arm regeneration. So putting oil on the backside of that cylinder. Uh, that's a new settings that we have here. Previously we had arm speed, but we've added load sensitivity, trucking balance, and boom arm balance, and better controllability for the operator and to meet up with their individual set preferences. We've also added automatic engine shutdown to all machines to where it can be set up for different parameters of amount of time. From the machine can be idling up to 40 minutes on the max side, all the way down to two minutes, uh, but you can hit it with a sliding scale. You can have it set up to only set for one time or can always be enabled. And we could set it to enable the machine would then idle for two minutes. After it's idled for two minutes with no interaction from the operator, the machine would automatically go into a shutdown. So uh, some new settings that we have here from Hyundai to add better controllability, better feel for the operators, and uh, hopefully make their jobs a little bit easier and uh, safer and um, just overall better operator performance. The other thing that we have is uh, that we didn't, I didn't mention uh, is also 
our intelligent power control mode. So with this IPC mode, um, we have three different settings. We have efficiency mode, we have speed mode, and balance mode. Um, and this is how we control our pumps as well as to which pumps will be setting at idle and setting at full, full and full demand. So between these three settings, efficiency mode, both pumps are setting at, at an idle. Um, whenever that we deal into balance mode, we have one pump that is sitting at idle, one pump is throttled up and ready to go. And then when we go into speed mode, both pumps are throttled up and ready to ready for operation. Um, but there's fuel conserv conservation that happens with that as well. If both pumps are sitting at idle, then we conserve fuel with the, with the new EPFC machine as well.